Hi, good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. Let's check how many are we. All right, ya están cansaditos, veo yo, porque solo se han conectado como cinco. All right, no, seven, siete se han conectado nada más. All right, well, congratulations to the ones that are still up. Felicitaciones a los que todavía siguen luchando, right? Eh, qué bueno, creo que esta semana no tenemos clase viernes, ok? So, that's good for you. En serio que uno se acostumbra a, a trabajar de lunes a jueves. Y hoy que estuve trabajando hasta los viernes, Jesus, <laughs> I, was, I was dying. Ya me estaba muriendo, right? Pero creo que esta semana no lo vamos a trabajar. So, everyone, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you, yo. Bienvenidos a su clase de inglés. Es un placer verles. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, 2023, right? We are officially in class 14. What are you doing? Inglés principiante, módulo 1. Okay, so let's move on. Let's check, let's check. Yesterday, we were learning the conjunctions, right? El día de ayer estuvimos aprendiendo las conjunctions. Miren, hay más de dos conjunctions, right? Tenemos una cantidad bien masiva de conjunctions. Pero a ustedes aquí solo se les está dando dos, right? Entonces, decíamos ayer que las conjunctions funcionan para qué, Wendy Salguero? I don't remember. Okay, don't worry. Let's check. Um, Let's see, let's see. Melvin, Melvin, were you in yesterday's class? Tuvo una clase de ayer, Melvin. No, pero vi el video y ah. la sirven para unir párrafo, cláusulas o palabras. Yay, excellent, very good. Words or phrases, palabras o, o frases y cláusulas. Very good, Melvin, excellent. Lo felicito, right? Entonces, eh, recuerden, las conjunctions funcionan pues para darle sentido más que todo al paragraph. Cuando nosotros no hablamos con conjunciones o conectores, también conocidos como conectores, eh, a veces no le damos sabor, no le damos sentido to the conversation, right? So with these ones are way easier. Con estos es más sencillo. Now let's check. Ahora, esto lo vimos ayer. Vamos a ver los guiding examples. Let me listen to Christian Elias, please. Number one and number two. I am drinking soda and I eating pizza, but I am not watching TV. Mm -hmm. Arnold is listening to music, but He is not a story. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. And Jocelyn Ramirez, number three, please. They are working, but they don't like their, their job. That's correct. All right, listen up. In, in the three sentences that we have, in las tres oraciones que tenemos, estamos utilizando present progressive, all right? Presente progresivo, present continuous, presente continuo, es lo mismo, right? How do we know? ¿Cómo lo sabemos? ¿Cómo sabemos que estamos utilizando present continuous? Veamos, Diego Valdés. En las oraciones, ¿qué nos da la idea de que estamos utilizando presente continuo? Porque estamos hablando de un objeto. All right, excellent. Thank you, Diego. Let's check. What else? Veamos. Estamos hablando del presente continuo, o sea, el tiempo. Veamos. Um, Melvin, I hear you. Porque se está usando los verbos con ing. Exactly, the verb with ing. Los verbos con ing, muy bien. Pero ayer aprendíamos que también puedo tener verbos en ing, que serían los germs. 
pero no es presente progresivo. Ayer expliqué todo esto. Espero que no me haya desgastado la garganta de por gusto, right? Let's Muchas check. Gracias. Fátima Ramírez. Entonces, ¿cómo sabemos que estas son present progressive y no son solamente simple present? Porque se refiere a una acción. All right, thank you. ¿Qué les está pasando? All right, no me están dando la respuesta correcta. Let's listen, Melvin. Porque se refiere a una acción que se está desarrollando justo ahora. Exactly, vaya, sí. Pero para que esa acción se desarrolle justo ahora, está el ING, all right, and that's correct. Pero hay algo, yo no puedo tener ING sin un elemento de la oración. ¿Cuál es ese elemento de la oración? Se compone de tres verbos ese elemento. El verb to be. Bravo, el IAS, excellent, very good. Yo no puedo tener present progressive sin, sin mi querido amor de la vida, el verb to be, all right? El verbo ser va a estar. Sin él yo no soy nada, all right? There you go. Sin el verb to be no podemos tener present progressive, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Recuerden, ayer expliqué, también usted puede tener oraciones en presente y agregarle ing al verbo, right? Y no estaría mal porque significa que están en gerunds, están en gerundio, ¿ok? Mientras que el present progressive necesita ese factor clave, la unión del verb to be plus the verb in ing. Verbo cero estar más la unión de un verbo en ing, ¿all right? With that being said, habiendo dicho eso, instructions, Fatima Jovel. Number one, work individually. Work individually. Uh, la número dos también. Yeah. Create one sent sentence in which you use progressive tense, but at the same time you are using conjunction. Exactly, all right. Yo nunca los mando a nadar sin haberles enseñado cómo, all right. Ya aquí les puse este es present progressive y aquí estoy utilizando mis conjunctions, all right. Recuerden que antes del but, si van a utilizar el but, tienen que poner una coma. Entonces la instrucción dice una oración en present progressive pero que al mismo tiempo lleve conjunctions. Usted decide si la quiere hacer como yo la hice aquí, que utilicé el y y después utilicé el pero, o solo utiliza una conjunction, como a usted se le haga más sencillo. Ok, let's work on it. Tienen un minuto. Okay, for the ones that are just getting into the class, let me explain. 
para los que van entrando a la clase, como Sara, Brian, eh, no sé quién más, I can't see. sí, creo que solo ellos dos van entrando a la clase, right Estamos creando una oración en present progressive tense, plus conjunctions, más las, los conectores, right El end o el but, o pueden estar los dos en la misma sentence, como yo lo tengo en la número uno. What about the rest of the class? Have you finished? Finish. Excellent. Let me hear you, Diego. Okay, I am playing video games and eating pizza, but I don't have a time. Very good, but I don't have time. All right, excellent. Always procrastinating. Siempre procra pro ¿Cómo se dice en español? Procrastinando. Procrastinando. Right. Siempre, Listen. siempre. <laughs> that happens to me. <laughs> Me pasa. Let's check. Another one. Alguien más? Yep, teacher. Eh, colega, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Colleague. Colleague. O también Colleague. puede decir, si estamos hablando de colega de trabajo, es co-worker. Co-worker. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más? ¿O solo Diego finalizó? Se pasaron tres minutos. I hear you, Miss Salguero. I'm studying and I'm listening to music, but I'm not paying attention. Attention. <laughs> That's for the honor. Thank you. <laughs> Ay, gracias, Wendy. Let's check another one. ¿Alguien más who's paying attention? Alguien que sí esté prestando atención, let's check. Beatriz, I hear you. Fernando, en alemán, watching TV. En de is eating snack. Beatriz, tenemos ahí un poco de interferencia, ¿sabes? No, no logré entenderle, no sé si solo me pasó a mí o a los demás también tuvieron problemas para entenderle. Fernando. En Alejandro, watching TV, and they is eating snack. Ah, vaya, ahí me puso en they is. Si son plurales, ¿cuál tiene que utilizar? They is o they are? They are. Exactly. All right. Very good. Excellent. Eso sería lo único, Beatriz. Thank you. Okay. Let's go, sí. Elisa Romero. Mm, I am working um, drinking coffee. Uh -huh. With my call working. With my call worker. Worker. Working. Excellent. Very good. Eh, Lisa, no quiero que me pase el otro curso diciendo me. Right? My. My. Right? right? Practiquemos eso, right? Eh, nos es útil, Elisa, right? Puede que ahorita esa palabrita usted diga, ah, no, no importa, puedo seguir diciendo me. Pero no, usted le cambia el significado si me dice me. Right? So let's check. Let's listen to Brian. Uh, I'm reading the book, uh, listening to music. Very good. Excellent. There you go. Simple as that. Así es simple. Melvin? I am, I like eating hamburger, hamburger, but I'm I am here. not hamburger, but I am not like fat. All right, excellent, thank you. Yes, hamburger, very good, excellent. Let's go with the next one. What about Elias? They are working tonight, but they don't sleep in tonight. Mm -hmm. right. Very good, they are working. Repeat, repeat, Elias. Repítela de nuevo, please. Walking. Ah, walking. Walking. Mm -hmm. All right. Continúe. Dígame la oración entera, please. Okay. They are walking tonight, but they don't sleeping tonight. Ah, they are not sleeping tonight. Okay. En vez de utilizarme el don't, porque ahí lo que está haciendo es que me está mezclando 
el, el ING con el DON'T. Entonces ponga, aquí abajo se lo voy a poner. Uy, ya me salí todo. Uh, they are. Puede decir they aren't sleeping. Right? Y de ahí pone el resto de su oración. O puede decir eh, they are not sleeping tonight. Right? Very good, excellent. Usted, si no se me vayan a confundir en esta parte que yo puse el negativo con el don't. Si se fijan, no puse el ing, right? Because I can't. Solo tiene el don't y el verbo like en infinitivo. Let's listen to Fatima Jovel and then Roxana Chacón. Uh, no estoy segura de si están bien, pero la primera es I'm reading a book, but I don't understand anything. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, excellent. I'm reading a book, but I don't understand anything. All right, pero no entiendo nada. Muchas gracias, Fatima. Let's go with Roxana. I work in the morning, but I am always his very sad. But I'm always... He's very sad. Pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo que me comenzó hablando de usted y luego me metió a él? I don't get it. O repita al principio, no. ¿qué dijo? I am working in the morning, but I am always his very sad. Le estoy, le estoy escuchando un he's very sad. Uh -huh. Sí. Le está poniendo el, el subject pronoun he's. Me está poniendo el possessive adjective he's. Me está diciendo, estoy trabajando en las mañanas, pero él está, ta, él está triste. It doesn't match. No machea. Entonces sería, but always. But I'm always ah. sad. O sea, tiene que ajá. seguir hablando de usted porque comenzó hablando de usted. Sí, ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Sería, I working in the morning, but I'm very sad, nada más. In the morning. But I'm very sad. Ok, estoy trabajando en la mañana, pero estoy triste. All right. Estoy muy triste. Así está correcto, Rosa. Very good. Right, thank you. Yes, we can't mix subject pronouns. No podemos me mezclarlo, right? Eh, no sé que usted esté, esté haciendo un paragraph. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Porque usted está hablando de distintas cosas. All right, everyone, let's check. Tenemos bastante contenido para este día, así que voy a ir moving on, moving on. Vamos a ver si ya funciona la platform. Quiero ponerles el video de este de esta eh, de este vocabulary check let me check 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 all right i'm going to share with you the video right now so let's pay attention mostly to the pronunciation right tratemos de enfocarnos en la pronunciación no copien nada porque ya saben que yo les doy el material el material, pero la pronunciation, eso sí me interesa, ¿ok? So, let me know if you hear the video. Me avisan si escuchan el audio. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able yes. to... Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. ...talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, 
Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello? Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums by looking at the map. Which cities are in? Okay, now let's check. We already got the vocabulary, so let's practice with it. Practiquemos con él, all right? So here we go. Voy a sacar mi spotlight, mi varita mágica, and let's check. First one, we have Vancouver. Vancouver. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. Lima. Montreal. Montreal. New York City. New York City, San Juan, San Juan, Brasilia, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, Cape Town, Cape Town. Let's go. Para este vocabulary solo voy a necesitar a tres personas. Do I have volunteers? Tengo voluntarios. Okay, let's get started. Vamos, creo que Brian Ventura, you want to participate, right? Así es. Action. Uh, Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. No misunderstanding in that one. Uh, let's go with Roxana Chacon and then Rolando Hernandez. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo y Cape Town. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Mr. Hernandez. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo y Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape, Cape Town. Excellent, thank you. Very good, let's go to the next one. Vamos al siguiente, all right? Los que ya participaron en el anterior ya no van a participar en este para darle espacio a los demás, ¿ok? Casa Blanca. No van a decir Casa Blanca, no. Casa Blanca. London. London. Warsaw. Warsaw. Moscow. Moscow. Vaya, este se pronuncia... Riyadh, aquí les puse la pronunciation, Riyadh. No es Riyadh, es Riyadh, right? Seoul, Seoul, Bangkok, Bangkok, Tokyo, Tokyo, Sydney, Sydney. Okay, let's start with Diego Valdez, please. Okay. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. That's correct. Thank you. Lucia, action. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, 
Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Right, excellent. Thank you. Let's listen again to the pronunciation of masculine, right? Let's listen to it. Vamos a escucharla. Okay, porque no quiero que me estén dando otro tipo de pronunciation. Cape Town. Warsaw. Moscow. Right? Moscow. No me pueden decir Moscú, because you're telling me that in Spanish. It's Moscow. All right? Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with another one. One last person. Una persona más. Uh -huh. Only one. Solo una, please. Elisa, action. Te voy a poner la plataforma ahí. La... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Elisa, ¿por qué no me dice? No que se quede en silencio, qué barbaridad. Qué falta de confianza. Teacher, la está, la, no, no, no está presentando, diga. <laughs> Casa Blanca, London, Warsaw, Moscú, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Very good, Elisa, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's get to a conversation. Ya tuvimos la conversation, el audio. Ahora vamos a hacerla nosotros. Voy yo primero para darles la intonation, all right? So, it says, hello. Oh, no. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Yo bien brava. All right, let's check. Uh, let's go with... Um, let me have Vicky. You are Debbie. Usted va a ser Debbie. Susana Sanchez. You are John. Action. I'm Debbie. Yes. Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four, a, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks, okay. I quit now. Repeat after me, Vicky. I'm awake. I'm awake. Yes, very good, both of you. Excelente. Vicky, no la sentí enojada ni adormitada. All right. Y en esta, en esta conversation, sí, eh, Debbie está como molesta. All right. Thank you. Let's check. Let's go to the next one. Vamos con Melvin Adonai. Eh, you are John. Let me check. Um, Vamos a ver. Wendy Salguero, you are Debbie. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? Six. 10 p.m. Uh, and meet your and meet four o'clock. That is Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. And that's okay. I what I what now? Wait, Melvin, what happened? Se pasó. 
de John se pasó a Debbie. Vaya. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh, I really sorry. That's okay. I'm away now. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Both of you, right? Uh, very good. Um, Miss Salguero, I was feeling your anger, right? Pude sentir ahí su enojo, su molestia for being awake porque la despertaron. Let's check. Let's go with Brian Ventura. You are John. And Lucia Beatriz, you are Debbie. Action. Hello. This is John. I'm Tolly from Australia. Australia? At my conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What is it till? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Um, okay, I, I make note. Repeat, mm -hmm. I'm awake. I'm awake, no. Now. 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 <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. Very good. Yay. Okay, now let's check. Voy a repetir cierto vocabulary que puede que nos cueste, right? Más que todo, estaba notando que me comen el, el it en la pregunta. What time is it there? Me dicen, what time is there? Right? Necesitan el subject pronoun. What time is it there? What time is it there? Right? Y la otra que sería, I'm awake. I'm awake. Si usted dice, I'm awake, suena más fácil que decir, I am awake. Right? Es mejor decir, I'm awake, que es lo mismo, pero esta es la forma contractada. I'm awake. Right? Como cuando usted le dice, ama a alguien, <laughs> a su mamá, ama. That's the same, all right? Same intonation. Let's check. Let's go with... Let me check. Beatriz Enríquez. Veamos, Beatriz, a ver si ya le funciona el audio. Ay. Okay, oh, yes, ahora sí ya se le escucha. Sí. Vale, entonces usted va a ser Debbie and Elias, you are John. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? And I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it? Three? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I uh, am a uh, Repeat, Beatriz. That's okay. I am my now. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Miren, si yo les digo, ocupen la contraction, es porque es más sencillo. All right? Si usted se hace largo el proceso, usted solo se está quedando, right? Ahí como plantita. Si yo les doy un tip, utilicen. All right? I'm awake. ¿Cuántas veces no hemos utilizado esa palabrita? Ama, all right? Ama, I'm awake. O puede decir, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake now. Now let's check. Times, right? Estamos hablando de las horas. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. It's one o' five. It's five after one. All right? It's one o' five. Es la una y cinco. It's five after one. Son cinco minutos pasadas de la una. All right? Same thing. Lo mismo. 
It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. La una y quince, un cuarto después de la una. A quarter after one. It's one thirty. No es thirty. It's one thirty. Thirty. It's one forty. Forty. It's twenty to two. Decir, son las una y cuarenta, es lo mismo que decir veinte a las dos. Right? It's one forty or it's twenty to two. It's one forty five. Una y cuarenta y cinco. It's a quarter to two. Falta un cuarto a las dos. Right? In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. El noon se utiliza específicamente de las doce a la una. El noon, all right? Por eso es que cuando usted entra a clase de doce a una o en la tarde todavía, usted dice good afternoon, good afternoon, all right? Que buenas tardes. Ya en la noche usted no dice good night. Cuando vienen entrando aquí a la clase no me pueden decir good night. Tienen que decir good evening, all right? Porque el periodo de good evening inicia desde, ¿desde qué horas? Let me check. Desde las cuatro y media, creo, desde las cinco en adelante. Y solo cuando usted ya va a dormir, dice good night, all right? Entonces, let's check. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Midnight is medianoche. Okay. So let's listen to, vamos a pedirle a Rolando Hernández, please tell me the times. Dígame las horas. Uh, it is one o'clock. It is one of five. It is five after one. It is one fifteen. It is a quarter after one. Repeat after me, fifteen. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. it, it is one three, twenty. Thirty. Three, it is one forty. It is twenty twenty two. No, twenty to two. Twenty to two. It is one forty five. It is a quarter to two. Excellent. Thank you, Fatima Jovel. Tell me. How do we express the times according to the next chart in the morning? In the morning, p.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, uh, e.m. A.m. A.m. So very good. Fatima Ramirez, tell me the times, please. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. It's one o' five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Excellent, thank you. Jocelyn Ramirez, please, in the morning. In the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m., that's correct. Thank you. All right, everyone. Let's move on to the next one. Practice time. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. 
it's 12 p.m., it's noon. O sea, estas son las maneras en las que usted puede decir la misma hora, right? Cuando yo digo, son las 7 en punto de la mañana, o puedo decir, it's 7 a.m., son las 7 a.m., es lo mismo, right? O yo puedo decir, it's 12 o'clock, son las 12 en punto, it's 12 p.m., son las 12 del mediodía, it's noon, es al mediodía, right? It's 4 o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon, it's 4 p.m., it's 7 o'clock in the morning, it's 7 p.m., It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Let's go with the first, uh, let me check. Let's go with the first line. Ustedes ya saben, líneas, line. Sería toda esta, right? And let's check. Um, let's listen to Wendy Padilla, please. The first line. The second line is going to be For Melvin Adonai, action. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. Thank you. Let's go, Melvin. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve It's midnight. Excellent. Thank you, Melvin. Let's go with Diego Valdez. The first round. Brian Ventura, the second round. Action. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Very good. Thank you, both of you. Gracias a ambos. Roxana Chacon, first round. Wendy Salguero, second round. Action. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock. In the afternoon, it's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the, in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Very good. Excellent. Thank you to both of you. All right. Let me, let me just move on and see. Yes, we still got content. So, let's practice with one more pair. Una pareja más, all right? Porque este es casi que el vocabulary más principal que vamos a ver. Let me have Claudia Flores, first round. Beatriz Enriquez, second round. Action. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It, it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10, it's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midday. Excellent, thank you. Midnight. All right. So far, hasta ahorita, ¿tienen alguna question or doubt? Duda, pregunta, consulta, comentario? No, everything is clear. All right. Now, let's move on. Vaya, miren, les voy a hacer una pregunta antes de continuar con lo siguiente. Hasta ahorita, 
cómo van con la plataforma, all right? Este es como un feedback. Esta es una retroalimentación que quiero que hagamos. Porque vi que específicamente a este grupo, cuando íbamos iniciando, como la segunda semana, creo, eh, les mandaron el mensaje de que habían revisado la plataforma y no todos habían trabajado. Entonces, después de eso, yo tengo que traer un seguimiento de qué, qué está pasando, si estamos trabajando en la plataforma, si les ha surgido alguna duda. Ahorita es cuando me pueden decir, right? So, I hear you. Los escucho. Bueno, yo ahorita por la sección 5, empezar, que era esta. Very good. Eh, yo también, yo ahorita a la mitad llevo la sección número 5. Very good. Excellent, Ryan. Yo no he terminado la sección, eh, ya terminé la sección número 4, pero aún me hace falta empezar la número 5. All right. Very good. Excellent. ¿Alguien más? Yo. Yo ya, ya empecé las cinco, teacher, la mitad la llevo. Very good, Miss Enrique, es excelente. Yo también ya voy por las cinco en la mitad. All right, buen review, vamos teniendo buenas respuestas de lo que estaba haciendo. ¿Alguien más? En mi caso ya terminé la cuatro, pero me falta comenzar las cinco. All right, bye. A eso es que le falta comenzar las cinco de este día que no pasa, de esta noche que no pasa, right? Si no se les va a recargar y después van a estar, mire, teacher, a último momento. Y yo después de la clase ya no los puedo atender directamente en el chat porque yo continúo trabajando, right Con otros grupos. Eh, not over here, but in other places. No aquí, pero en otros lugares. right So, eh, no los puedo atender inmediatamente. Pero tengo entendido que Inglés Corporativo está pendiente de si ustedes necesitan algo ahí. Entonces, ustedes pueden ponerlo siempre en el chat. No problem. Melvin. No, es que no sé si a todos les mandaron el mensaje que hasta mañana quieren ya echar la sección 5, entonces, yes, para que quede, right. por si no se dieron cuenta. Ajá, uh -huh. very good, excelente. Sí, es cierto, hasta mañana. All right, claro está, nosotros vamos un poquito más despacio aquí en el content, pero ustedes ya tienen todo el contenido ahí por medio de los videos, se los explican. Aquí es como que venimos a aclarar dudas y a practicar, porque solos yo sé que no van a practicar. Y si practican, pues con todo el esfuerzo de la obra de Dios, right, pero les ha de costar. Y yo sé que es eso, no tener con quién practicar. Y aquí es donde ustedes lo hacen. So, let's check. This is highly important. Esta parte es súper esencial, right? Hace como unas dos semanas vimos la pronunciation del do con el subject pronoun. ¿Se recuerdan? Que iban súper rápido en esa parte. Aquí no es así. Aquí es la entonación de rising intonation, la entonación de subida o de crecimiento. Y de lower intonation or falling intonation. La entonación de caída. All right. It says, notice the intonation of the yes or no in WH questions. Las yes or no son las que inician de un solo con el verb to be. En este caso que estamos viendo el verb to be, ¿verdad? Y las WH son las que comienzan pues con WH. So it says, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay. Now, una vez más, después los pongo a ustedes. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right. Let's check. Let's start with, vamos a iniciar con... Jocelyn Ramírez, después de Jocelyn, Susana Sánchez. Jocelyn, your microphone. Vaya, miren, si usted se va a levantar. No Ajá. lo podía, este, Abrir. Eh, pensé que ya lo había encendido y estaba repitiéndola, pero no me había fijado que no lo había no, abierto. Me lo imaginé, por eso le dije que abriera el micrófono. Sí, es right. que le había presionado atrás y no, y no es. Ah. Don't <ríe> no worry, no se preocupe, Jocelyn, let me hear you, la escuchamos. No, ahorita. Is she getting up? Uh, are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Repeat, doing. Doing. 
Excelente. Ajá, igual en la primera, is she getting up? Ajá, yes. Esa se la dejo bien. Is she getting up? Uh, va. Gracias. Right. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Susana y después Fátima Ramírez. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Excellent. Thank you, Susana. Let's go, Fatima. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Very good. Excellent. Thanks. Let's go with Elias. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Sarah Abigail. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What is she doing? What are they doing? Repeat after me. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Excellent. Thank you. Is she getting up? Very good. Thank you, Sarah. Let's go with Elisa, please. Mm, la primera, creo que. Okay, voy yo primero. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Mm -hmm. Are they speaking? What's she doing? No, what's no, she doing? What's she doing? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Excellent, thank you. Now, let's copy this. Copiamos esto para que no se nos vaya a olvidar, all right? Diego Valdez, read the yellow chart, please. And let me check. And Rolando Hernandez, the sky blue chart. Action. For yes, no question, it will be a rising intonation. Rising intonation significa que sube, ¿verdad? Lo que ya decíamos, las yes or no. Action, Rolando. For WH. WH. Question. There is falling in intonation. 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 Yes, very good. Relaje la boca, Rolando. Right, very good. Excellent. Entonces, ya para las WH, falling intonation, va de caída la entonación, right? Now, is it clear? Tenemos claro este punto. All right. No tiene que ver nada con la gramática, solo es que usted tiene que saber que esas son las entonaciones. Una pregunta, Miss. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, quiere decir que, es, que siempre las preguntas que son con yes o no uh -huh. eh, van a ser con la entonación eh, de su vida. Ah, de su vida. Uh -huh. Siempre. Sí. Siempre. Y, y, y las Double eh, H siempre serán de baja. Uh -huh. Es decir, que. El what, el where, el when, usted le va a dar la entonación fuerte y luego va de bajada. What are you eating? ¿Qué está comiendo? Right? Very good. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Let's move on. I'm really hungry. Estoy muy hambrienta. O hambriento. Right? Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? Steve. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't like pizza? Let's check. Let's how. Let me see. Brian. Okay, you are Steve. Usted va a ser Steve. Wendy Padilla, you are mom. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? 
I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? Ah, perdón. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Bravo! Very good! Excellent! Both of you! Qué bonito, right? La intonation y la fluency que tuvieron, right? Buenas noticias para los que van a pasar el lunes, porque van a pasar, este va a ser el warming up para el lunes. Prepárense, right? Denle esa intonation. Ustedes escucharon a Brian y a Wendy. Denle esa entonación, right? A esas preguntas que vayan con sazón y lo mismo a esos exclamation marks, a esos signos de, de exclamación, right? Everyone, without anything else to say in this class, nada más que decirles en esta clase, I hope you have a great night. Espero que tengan una estupenda noche. And I'm going to see you on Monday. Bye. Take bye. care. Bye. 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 bye, bye, bye. Take care. Bye, teacher.